This is the good life. Welcome to the good life. Only tell me what's good. Why I only got a problem when you in the hood? Welcome to the good life. Why I'm in the hood. The only thing I wish. I wish you the world. All right, y'all. So I have made it to the location where we're going to be doing the horseback riding. Um, this is our group. Come on, follow me. It's going to be at a resort here. They're going to take us from here. So I think this is where we're going to come back and eat and do all the other stuff later. So stay tuned. Familia, let's go. I got to leave what I got. I got the one, got the one. Join me out of my mind. You need no other body. You need no other body. Only you feel on my body. Body, body, uh huh. Only you feel We have made it to our destination. My legs hurt, they numb, I'm ashy, <laughs> but I had a good time. <laughs> huh? All right, so we rode like an hour and a half. Now we're gonna do tequila tasting and um, we're gonna have lunch. And it's also a pool here, so I'll show y'all. Not the margarita skipping in, but look, my uh, my nueva amiga, she went to get us some uh, mass margaritas. So I'm about to check out this trampoline, y'all. They got the hammocks. I'm not gonna chill on hammock because, quite honestly, we only got 30 more minutes. Like, I was like, uh, we can stay longer. Y'all don't mind, but yeah, they're gonna take us back to our destination. So,
Let me tell you, that food was good. They did that. They got the vegetarian meal on point. Um, but my stomach is out here looking like it's a whole pregnant belly. Like, I'm out here eating all this food, drinking all these unlimited margaritas, and um, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay? But we'll be leaving soon. So I think I will see y'all tomorrow. Maybe I will show y'all the views on the way back. I don't know. We shall see. I see y'all. Ooh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Subscribe to her channel. <laughs> you have to follow. <laughs> like, like, comment, subscribe. No, no. Yes. No. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh. Mi amigas. Mi new amigas. <laughs> In Mexico. In Mexico. It is a weekday again, okay? I'm so grateful to be able to do this stuff on a weekday, but look, I got to go home, y'all. I'm chilling. I'm chilling for a while. I see y'all. I don't even be drinking liquor. Boy, I've been drinking wine. They got me lit. Look, I'm back in my... <laughs> Look, I'm back at my Airbnb, like, because not they had me drinking all them drinks, and then they had the tequila tasting, so, I'm lit. Like. Okay, so, I wanted to document um, the horseback riding experience. Before I forget what happened, I forgot. So, look, I seen a lot of stuff along that way. We were in a village that was, you know, pretty much, like, on the lower end. Um, I seen... Like in Plato Carmen, I've seen Neos. They was riding. They ride their um, like they ride motos young, but here it was like it was a village and it was a kid. He was like eleven, twelve years old, riding his little sister or something, maybe to or from school. Um, I seen like the poorest I've ever seen. Like I seen someone with a stick house. They had um. Like, literally, like, plastic bags as their walls. I kid you not. Um, I seen on the way some, a family, they were, like, knocking down berries with a stick. Like, trying to get food. Like, they were hungry. I really wish that I could have just, like, gave them some money right then and there to get something to eat. I'll be honest with you. Uh, what else did I see? Um, many local businesses, schools, and stuff, but... Yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the horses were cool. Let me tell you, it was a guy. <laughs> Look, it was a guy. He was on a horse. And um, the horse just lay out. I wish I could have uh, caught the footage. The horse literally just like lay out. Like, boy, I'm tired. Like, boy, you too heavy. Like, get up off of me. <laughs> he was like, boy, get up off of me. And he just laid down. <laughs> And then the guy like hopped up off of him and then the um the people that was in charge they like switched horses with him. That was funny. Um uh, it was cool though, y'all. It was so much fun. I haven't been horseback riding since I was a kid, so that was so much fun. I can't wait to do it again. But yeah, that was so that was like I'll be honest, that was like the highlight of my trip. Like that was just that was just too much fun. So yeah. All right, I'm headed out for the day. I just had to stop at the store and give me some water because your girl was thirsty, okay? Um, I'm actually leaving out like two hours later than what I really wanted to do because I needed to go and eat twice. So now it's a little bit later, but it's not that late because the only reason why I'm going to two different places, um, for one, I know I'm gonna be hungry later. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to load some leftovers, but my first stop is going to be a Brooklyn Cafe, which is a black owned um, restaurant. I actually met the owner at the, uh, what was that? At the Black History event. So I told her I would stop by. This is gonna be the best time to stop by. So I'm gonna stop by. Um, and then I'm definitely going back to that Raymond spot, y'all. I'm going back to that Raymond spot. Yes, it was that good. So if you didn't see the last vlog, check out that last vlog. That Raymond was so good. I'm going back. That's like the only restaurant I went to twice. So that's how you know it was good. 
But um, what was I about to say? Oh, so then what else is on the agenda for today? I'm going to a expat event. It's I really don't know what to expect. I'll be honest. It's an open mic, but they got like on the flyer it says like do it say reggae. I think it say reggae, so yeah, some other type of music, but then they say like, oh, rappers and and singers are welcome. So. Peace, yeah, blessing, morning, testimony. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you they go. This year, good news, jaggy, plenty body. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you they go. This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you they go. This year, good news, jaggy, plenty body. Go to follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 you they go. So I just left Brooklyn Cafe. I want to tell y'all how it was. Um, the service was excellent. Let me tell you, I got checked up on, which is standard in the USA. But in Mexico, baby, they will leave you for dead. You literally got to flag them down to get checked up on and to pay for your food. So she came back when she noticed I was done. And I was able to um, get my check and everything like that, too. So that was excellent. The food was really good. The tomato soup, it was even better with the grilled cheese when you dip the grilled cheese into the tomato soup so that was really good i say they did that um the environment was nice they played some music and people were around just chatting you know so i like it so if y'all are in puerto vallata make sure to stop by brooklyn cafe and also i ate light which not that i had too much of a choice because they only had like a good two things that was vegetarian and then like of course a bunch of sides but um I ate light so I can eat again in two and a half hours y'all. <laughs> So I'm currently in Central. I'm about to take this 15 minute walk to Zona Romantica since I've only been there twice already. So I'm about to go down there and uh, hang out for these next couple of hours. One thing I'm always gonna do is support the locals. Um, if it's something I wanna buy, of course. <laughs> if I like these things, I don't know what they call, but um, with the hot sauce on them, they was 25 pesos. I'm like, ugh, that's a little steep. I thought about, I thought about lowballing them. Like, uh, can you do 15? But I'm like, just get a man what he asks for. But honestly, I'm used to paying 15 in Playa apartment, but this ain't Playa. And he could have charged me more, who knows. But uh, it really doesn't matter at this point. I could have either got them or not, and I did. I wanted them. So now I got me a snack while I walk. I see y'all in the Zona Romantica. All right, so I came down here, down these steps behind me, but I'm looking ahead of me. And I see that bridge that I walked over the other day. So I'm about to go back up and walk over this bridge. Because I don't want to walk over the Rocky Bridge today. I don't. And I want to see something different. So I'm going to keep straight on this path. So 
I've literally been thinking about getting my real source license for a while now. And I think that was like, I don't know, that may have been some sort of confirmation. I seen a black dude. He was just in um, working, picking up his, um, getting his food order. And he was in Berkshire Hathaway. And I'm like, that's a pretty good idea for anybody who want to move abroad. Like, these realtor companies is all over. Like, you can sell houses from anywhere, but you can also sell houses in the place that you move abroad to. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. And I think, like, I don't know if that's some type of sign or something. I'm not saying that that's what I'm going to do, but it is a good idea. So I'm going to sit on that. And... Um, about a week ago when I was at the Black History Month event, it was an older guy. He was like 61 years old. He said he just got his real estate license. So he um, he's doing real estate out here too. So I'm walking up this hill, y'all. When I say these hills ain't no joke, I haven't, like, I try to avoid them, but they got all the hills for you. This light is, this light is doing what it needs to do, baby. This sun I was looking at my hair. I braided my hair up, y'all. Clearly up under here. And I'm like, girl, your hair is growing so healthy. It's never grown so healthy in life. It's got to be the sun, y'all. Y'all better get y'all some sun. If you don't do nothing, get you some sun. that food was good they had some um ginger sauce to go on it so it was really good the veggies were cooked to perfection it was like not soggy but they were they still had a little bit crunch food but they were still cooked so that was really good um but yeah now i got 30 minutes into the open mic start from what i've seen thus far they like to start on time out here so i don't feel bad getting there like at 705 or something like that or 17 so i'm walking back towards central that's where it's gonna be at um that's probably gonna be like another 10 minutes and then i'm just gonna hang out for a while so i see y'all all right i'm utterly disgusted this is no judgment to anybody who's homeless but i've never really watched homeless people in action and i just sit here and watch two homeless people but one of them i seen him literally like take the bottom i was wondering what was he drinking in his bottle but he was taking literally any sips of fluids that he could from anything in a garbage and he was pouring it into his bottle so his bottle literally looked like gray water it really looked like it it looked like just like dirty water so he just got a whole bunch of stuff just mixed up like a bunch of people bottoms of their drinks i don't know you know it, it touched me in a in a way but at the same time I'm like oh my goodness i'm really disgusted but it's no judgment it's just like he was literally like two feet away from me so i couldn't help but to see it sometimes you don't want to see it but it's like sometimes we need to know what's really going on in the world to be grateful for everything that we have like sometimes we take things like a simple meal for granted so So Puerto Vallarta definitely got a special place in my heart. I'm going to be leaving sooner than later, so I am going to make this my last vlog. So I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm definitely going to come back. I told everybody, like everybody thought I lived here. I told everybody, like I'm going to come back, okay, y'all. I'm not going to forget about y'all. I'm going to come back, but I do got other plans. 
I do got some stuff to do. I do got some places to see before I come back. So, before I go somewhere else and get comfortable, <laughs> I got places to be and things to see, but, um, and things to do. But yeah, I truly enjoy my time here. I'm going to be leaving, leaving sooner than later. So this is going to be my last vlog. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I truly appreciate you for watching this video, watching all the content, for subscribing. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That's all I have for this vlog. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually into them, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.